State Representative Leslie Herod is a face you've seen many times on our newscast, but you probably don't know what drives her and how she got her start in politics. As we focus on elevating black voices, Sean Boyd introduces us to the woman behind some of the most progressive laws in our state. I remember the first time I actually was able to walk in this chamber as a lawmaker. Representative Leslie Herod took the state legislature by storm when she was elected four years ago. As the first black gay woman to serve in the General Assembly, she says her charge was clear. To make sure that the people who were casting those votes knew how those votes impacted communities like mine. Especially when it comes to criminal justice. She was already pushing for police reform when George Floyd and Elijah McClain were killed. I was done with letting them change on their own. She passed the Police Integrity and Accountability Act, making sweeping changes, including an end to qualified immunity. As we watch the votes come up on the board and, and the bill pass, um, that was probably a very, you know, surreal moment for me because I just knew that we were going to make an impact. The changes don't stop there. Herod has restored voting rights for parolees and did cash bail for low-level offenses and defelonized possession of drugs for personal use. The war on drugs was really a war on people of color and low-income people. While she is a force to be reckoned with at the Capitol, Herod says becoming a lawmaker once seemed as remote as becoming a princess. One of her defining moments came in the fourth grade. My first black teacher, I was calling a princess. And I was, wanted to show her that I found a trick, that I could take the orange crayon and use it lightly, and that would be more like skin color. She said, that's great, it looks good, but your brown crayon works just as well. Her life experiences influenced her legislative work. She passed a budget amendment to provide free tampons to women in prison. Her sister wants one of them. And a bill to bar discrimination based on a person's hairstyle after she was told she'd have to straighten hers to be a cheerleader. To this day, you know, I cannot see a young girl who maybe is a cheerleader who's told she had to straighten her hair one more time before I take action. You know, and we passed the Crown Act. I'm here to start breaking down those barriers brick by brick. And whatever brick looks like one that's a little shaken loose, I'm gonna pull it out, okay? Until we have a Colorado that is equitable for everybody. And as a member now of the powerful Joint Budget Committee, she says she's just getting started. Most fearful of is waking up and realizing that it's not enough. A lot of folks see me as this like extremely confident woman walking through and just like taking care of it all. Sometimes my knees do shake and I don't know what I'm going to say or what I'm going to do, um, but it doesn't stop me from moving forward. I don't think little Leslie could have ever imagined that she would be sitting here, um, but I also can't imagine where I'm going to be in 20 more years. And so let's just keep breaking those ceilings and see where we go. Sean Boyd covering Colorado first. And you can watch all of our Elevating Black Voices reports at CBSDenver.com.